Hi again, my friends. So it's time to get started with our day and do some of our learning activities. Today, we're gonna to start by doing our alphabet. Remember, we're gonna say our letter, we're gonna say the picture, and then we're gonna say the sound the letter makes. We have two vowels that we know make more than one sound, so we're gonna to remember to say both of those sounds at the same time. All right, here's my handy dandy pointer and our alphabet. All right, so A, apple, A, and A, acorn, A. Good work. B, ball, B. C, cat, K. D, dog, D. E, egg, E. And E, easel, E. Good job. F, fan, G, goat, G. H, hat, I, igloo, I. J, jump rope, J. K, kite, K. L, ladybug, O. Good job. M, monkey, M. N, nest, N. O, octopus, O. P, pig, P. Q, question, Q. R, rainbow, R. S, sun, T, turtle, U, umbrella, U, uh. V, volcano, V, V, W, watermelon, W, X, like the end of fox, X, good job, yarn, oops, Y, yarn, Y, yeah. and Z, zipper, Z, good job. Now, we have how many vowels? We have five vowels. Say them with me. A, E, I, O, U. Good job. Now sing the song with me. A, E, I, O, U. Those are the vowels. A, E, I, O, and U. Those are the vowels. Good job. Now, we have started to learn that our vowels make more than one sound. And just to remind you, okay, I know we did it on our alphabet, but just to remind you, we know that A says A for apple, and it also says A for acorn, okay? And we know that E says A for egg, but it also says E for easel. Good job. All right. We're gonna quickly go through our sight words from last week. We're not gonna spell them, we're just gonna say them. And then we're gonna look at our sight words for this week, going through spelling them and everything, okay? Here's the first one. C, good job. My, excellent work. In, way to go. It, very good. You. Good job. And the, you guys are doing so good. Can go, last one, look. Good job. All right, let's take a closer look at the ones we are working on this week. All right, remember, to best memorize, we have to use lots of different ways to build that neural pathway strong. So if you wanna tap on your table or your leg or tap your arms like we do in class, those are all good ways. All right, here we go. Up, U, P, up. Is, I, S, is. Little. L-I-T-T-L-E, little. Good job. 
that. T-H-A-T, that. Here, H-E-R-E, -E, here. Me, M-E, me. At, A-T, at. Two, T O two. Said S A I D said. We W E we. Good job. Give yourselves a pat on the back. You are doing amazing. All right. Now remember, we are trying to get quicker and quicker at adding one to numbers, okay? So remember, addition means that we take two numbers, we put them together, okay? And when we put those two numbers together, we have a new number, okay? So we're gonna quickly go through these. I want you to try and answer them as I show them to you, okay? The first one is one plus nine, okay? 10, very good. One plus two, three, very good. One plus eight. Yes, nine, good job. One plus seven. Eight, very good. One plus five. Six, that's right. One plus six. Seven. One plus one. Two. Good job. One plus three. Four. Good work. One plus four. Five. Good job. I bet some of you have really started to see that there's a pattern and that the numbers go up by one only when we add one. Very good. All right, so I have a really neat read aloud for you today. It is called Home for a Bunny, and it is written by Margaret Wise Brown. Okay, remember that means she's the author, and the illustrator is Garth Williams. Remember that means he did the picture. All right, Home for a Bunny. Spring, spring, spring sang the frog. Bring, said the groundhog. Did you guys hear the two rhyming words in that one? Hog and frog. Spring, 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 sang the robin. It was spring. The leaves burst out. The flowers burst out. And robins burst out of their eggs. It was spring. Make sure you guys can see that. See the, the um, little birds hatching out of their eggs? In the spring, a bunny came down the road. He was going to find a home of his own. A home for a bunny, a home of his own. Under a rock, under a stone, under a log, or under the ground. Where would a bunny find his home? There was some rhyming, rhyming words. Did you hear them? We had own and stone. We had um, home, which also kind of was like own. And there he is, there's the bunny. Where is your home? He asked the robin. Here, 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 sang the robin. Here in this nest is my home. Because robins live in trees, right? Inside of a nest. Here, 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 sang the little robins who were about to fall out of their nest. Here is our home. Not for me, said the bunny. I would fall out of a nest. 
I would fall onto the ground. So look, he's hopping away. He knows that that's not the best place for him, huh? So he went on looking for a home. Where is your home? He asked the frog. Wog, 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 sang the frog. Wog, 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 under the water, down in the bog. Not for me, said the bunny. Under the water, I would drown in a bog. And a bog is kind of like a, a swampy area. Um, it has water in it as well. So the bunny knows that it would not be the best place for him. So he went on looking for a home. Where do you live? He asked the groundhog. In a log, said the groundhog. Can I come in? Asked the bunny. No, you can't come in my log, said the groundhog. And I don't think he's being mean. I think that the bunny needs to have his very own place to live, not live with the groundhog. So the bunny went down the road, down the road and down the road he went. He was going to find a home of his own, a home for a bunny, a home of his own, under a rock or a log or a stone. Where would Bunny find a home? Down the road and down the road and down the road he went until he met a bunny. Where is your home? He asked the bunny. It's a pretty little white bunny, isn't it? Here, said the bunny, here is my home, under this rock, under this stone, down under the ground, here is my home. Look, she has a, or he has a home under the rock. And kind of down into a hole under the ground. Can I come in, said the bunny? Yes, said the bunny, and so he did. And that was his home. Look at, they're all curled up and soft together. And that is the end. Right now, you're gonna turn off the video and you are gonna go work on your morning work. Today, we're working on the letter S. So you're gonna make sure that you circle all of the capital letter S and the lowercase letter S. You're going to be practicing this sight word, which is the sight word run, R-U-N, run. And then we have some pictures here and you're going to find the beginning sound. We have the B, the dollar, pizza, and zebra, okay? And then you're gonna do your ladybugs again and we're starting with one, okay? So after one would come two, and then what? Three, good job, I know you can finish it. Now on the last one, remember, we're writing our numbers in order because we have to count in order. We don't count in a crazy way, okay? So I want you to go take care of doing your morning work and when you're all done, come back and we have some fun rhyming stuff we're gonna do, okay? I'll see you in a little bit.